Agriculture experts say it's too early to tell what the real impacts the Russia-Ukraine conflict will have on the global supply chain, but they say it's not a time to hoard items at the grocery store. Vanessa Perez is here in studio with more on the economic impact. Ukraine is one of the largest exporters of goods. It's a top producer of wheat and big on corn and sunflower oil. Agriculture experts say there could be a potential delay in Ukraine planting their spring crops as their attention turns from crop cultivation to survival. Be mindful that you know we may see no <laughs> no real impact in uh, you know on a grocery store level, or we may see a lot. We just don't know. You know, we're talking about something that um, started, you know, less than a week ago. Lewison says it could add to the supply chain problem we've been dealing with for two years. Don't panic. Uh, you know, previously during, um, you know, the early spring, during the first round of COVID shutdowns, a lot of people panic purchased and it caused shortages that took a really long time to catch up. The impact on economy continues. Today, Governor Jay Inslee called for state agencies to cut ties with Russian companies. This cannot stand and the entire world needs to be united in this regard. We intend to do our part in the state of Washington. He says that goes for any company, small or large, such as Seattle-based Boeing, which issued this statement confined to its business operations and related personnel. Boeing said in a statement the company is closely monitoring the evolving situation and we are focused on supporting our employees, customers and suppliers in the region while adhering to all U.S. and global laws and regulations. We have temporarily closed our office in Kiev and paused operations in our Moscow training campus. Other area businesses have taken a harder stance. The Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle, which is owned by Oakview, said it's cutting all business ties with Russia. Reporting in the studio, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.